In this video we will show you how to build different consumption tables for your raw Avantic machine. Raw Avantic is available in several different models, but the tables are structured in a similar way. Even if you don't have an Avantic machine, this table will probably work for your machine as well. A consumption table usually consists of two layers. A lower layer to lock the machine at a perfect angle and to support the upper table. The upper table is the actual wear surface that is replaced when needed. The bottom layer of an Avantic machine consists of 12mm MDF or Valcro mat, which is a more durable material. Between the weir surface there are aluminum rails with grooves, to lock the clamps in a simple way. Start by cutting out a 12mm board in any material. On larger machines, you may need to splice the boards, but it doesn't matter. Splitting the bottom layer does not affect the top layer at all. Once you have the lower board in place, make sure that the machine is completely square before attaching the board. To make the machine square, you can cross measure. The measurements from two reference points must be exact and within a millimeter. But for cross measurement to work, the machine needs to be the same length and width in all directions. If the cross measurements are not correct, you need to fix it. You can use a regular strap to push two of the corners together. When the machine is completely square, you screw the board directly into the aluminum profiles underneath, then the machine is locked in a perfect square. Screw the board around the edges, so that the screws are not in the way of the top layer. On a regular Avantic, you attach screws 10mm from the edge. Attach screws to the sides and back. Measure with a distance of approximately 20 to 30 centimeters. Use 30 to 35 mm self-drilling screws for that. A raw Avantic extended has thicker profiles. So you will need to pre-drill the screw with a 3.5 mm drill before attaching the screws. On an extended machine, you need longer screws and about 40 to 45 mm long. You can use the table as it is now and attach your pieces with screws or drill holes for your clamps. If you settle for this table, you need to fasten the table both at the front and in the middle of the profiles. The hole for the screw must then be countersunk so that the insert does not touch the screw when you cut. But if you want to build on the table with another layer that has both rails and a replaceable consumption table, you can follow these steps. If you bought rails and everything needed to attach the parts, you can place everything on the table. You cut out the consumption table using the files available on our website. Choose your machine and cut them directly on the first surface that we attached earlier. The consumption table is screwed through the table and into the profiles below. The consumable table is in two sections so you don't have to replace the entire board when it wears. We have designed the table so that the first rail starts about 4 cm from the left edge, after that, we put a rail, and then a strip of consumable table, and so on. I have cut out 4 spacers. I press the first rail against the spacer and then the rest of the rails, as well as the consumable table. With a 6 mm drill, I drill through the hole on the rail, and straight through the table. In the hole I drilled, I attach an insert nut. I use a nut that has external threads that I screw down into the holes I drilled. I fasten the rail with an M4 countersunk screw. We have manufactured these rails ourselves with a notch in the middle so that the screw sinks down as deeply as possible. You can also use long screws that go through the table, then you can attach the rail from below for extra strength.
Attach the rail on the other side and press everything together before fastening the rest of the rails. Now you can attach the rest of the rails. The consumption table itself is screwed directly into the aluminum profiles below, but at the back there is no profile, so I drill 6mm holes through the consumption table, and attach nuts there as well. Now you can attach the consumption table itself. Start from the back. Since we have a nut at the back, I first use a regular M4 screw and then 32mm self-drilling for the remaining holes. You can pre-drill the holes through the MDF boards but let the screw drill the holes through the aluminum profiles. If you have an extended machine, you must pre-drill the aluminum profiles. Use a 3.5mm drill and longer screws, usually 40 to 45mm long. When the old table wears out, you can easily replace it and use the same screw. As you can see, the workpiece can be fixed tightly. We recommend that the rear distance screw rests against the rail instead of the consumption table. If you have the distance screw on the consumption table, there will be greater strain on the rails.